Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on Thinkorswim's big button feature. Uh, there's so many different ways to be able to trade within the Thinkorswim platform, and it's just a matter of preference, what style you like best. Uh, some people like to come up here and go to the trade tab. Some people like trading with level two. Some will like trading on the chart here or going to the trade tab up here. Um, some people like the active trader window here where you can do, <clears throat> you know, more professionalized trading. Uh, and then you also have this feature here called big buttons over here. Some people really like the overall look and feel of just having the buttons and trading uh, within here. So again, it's all a matter of preference. There's not really necessarily a right way or a wrong way. This video I'm just going to show you right now is just going to be about the big buttons feature, uh, how you can customize it. <clears throat> to the way you like it and just also show you how to use a custom template in there to have stop losses and one cancels the others as well um, so you are able to do some customization and have um, some security with stop losses and one ocos as well um, if you haven't watched our thinkorswim tutorial series and you want more training on thinkorswim make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and watch our thinkorswim series we have a whole bunch of videos <clears throat> in there um, that really exp explain all of the ins and outs of think or swim i highly recommend watching it uh, the one on the active trader as well because um, that video is going to really go in depth with how to set up your custom templates to do uh, stop losses and one cancels the others. So you're going to need to watch that video, our Active Trader one and our Thinkorswim platform, and that'll show you how, again, to set up the customization of the templates. This is just going to show you how to change and edit the buttons here. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you want to make this area smaller, you could just kind of come over here and just kind of make it smaller so you can have the screen uh, more to your liking. Um, you know, you can go up here, you'll see here, I have a whole bunch of different, uh, layouts saved, uh, different grids. So pretty much any customization that you do to a grid, you'll want to come up here when you're done and save the grid as and name it. <clears throat> so you see here, I'm just kind of have like a basic grid up here or a basic kind of chart right now. I don't have a lot of the, um, I do have some technicals on my chart, but I kind of wanted to make it a clean version, kind of a big screen just to show you basically just this fact here or this area here with the big buttons. Um, so you'll see right now it says buy market, sell market. I never buy market. I always buy limit orders. So I just go in here. Let me go again. I'll go slower. Go up to the toggle wheel up here to make any changes. And this will allow you to configure the buttons. So you go over here and you can look up a button to the left. You can add it and then you can move it up or down. So <clears throat> I'm going to remove buy market, sell market. And I'm going to add buy uh, at the ask, uh, sell at the bid. And then you could also add if you wanted uh, buy at the bid, uh, sell at the ask. And you'll see that these are down here. So Oh, what did I forget to add here? Sell at the ask. Oh, let me add that one here. So basically, you just kind of go here and you would just move it up uh, right here. <clears throat> move up and move up and move it up. So this kind of gives you, so basically at this point, you're going to hit OK, right? So then you're going to see buy at the ask, sell at the bid, join at the bid, join at the ask. I don't know why they put it as join, but they do. Um, so basically this would be buy at the bid, sell at the ask, buy at the ask, sell at the bid. <clears throat> so that's, you can customize it again however you want. You do have the auto send feature, which, uh, you know, at this point, if I was to buy at the ask, you'll see a confirmation window pop up. If I was to hit auto send, it's just going to automatically put the order in. Right now, I'm making the video after hours, so it's not going to go through. But auto send basically um, <clears throat> prevents the confirmation window from popping up. Uh, again, watch our active trader, uh, Thinkorswim active trader video if you want to see all of the in depths of how to, you know, place custom orders. So at this point, right now. This is not showing anything with the uh, custom order template where you could do stop losses and, or one cancels the others. So basically you come up here to the toggle wheel, <clears throat> excuse me, and come down here to order template selector, add item, hit OK, and now you have the template. So you'll see underneath here, there's a template with all of the different things that I have set up. I have 
uh, you know, stop losses and all these one cancels the others, you know. So you'll see here I have 10 cent stops with uh, 10 cent uh, limit order, 15 cent limit, 30, 40, 50. So this is um, basically for when I want to do day trading and get quick scalps. And um, <clears throat> just to kind of show you how that works, you'll see one with a stop loss. If I was to buy at the ask, you'll see it pop up. Uh, this I'm not buying this one right now. Let me do a different one. Let me just do something like a stock that I like to trade. Uh, JNUG, it's a gold ETF. So right now, if I was to, you'll see right here, when it when I left the screen and it comes back, it automatically resets the template. And I highly suggest that you make sure that you have that set up. So you wanna go up to Setup, Application Settings, Active Trader, and always make sure Reset Active Trader Order Template After Setting. Apply settings. <clears throat> that way, it automatically resets your template because uh, basically, if you don't do that, uh, it gets a little bit annoying with um, Thinkorswim, where you know you can have a stop loss in place and then you can go to sell, and then it'll, you know, it could um, it doesn't realize that your stop loss is in place if you don't unless you cancel it. Um, so what'll happen is it'll go to place another order. So let's say if I had my stop loss, let's say in place right now, let's say if I bought it, <clears throat> excuse me, if I bought this stock right here, let's say I bought JNUG and I had my stop in place, the stop will show on the screen. Um, but if I was to go, it'll, it would keep the, the default template in place, uh, with the stop. So if I want to do something else, it would buy something again. And it's really annoying. So just if you wanted to watch how those errors happen, watch again our active trader video. I show you how those errors happen and how super annoying they can be. But for the sake of this video, just keep it up here uh, to reset active trader. Uh, it'll just save you so many problems. So at this point, you'll see the buttons are pretty much edited. You can edit them the way you want. <clears throat> Only have auto send on once you're really comfortable trading. And the beauty of Thinkorswim is you could use their simulated platform to just really practice. Um, that's what I just love about Thinkorswim. It's, it's a little bit complicated, but they're really great. Um, they have a really great simulated program for you to practice. So at this point, once you have the order template here, um, basically you can just set it up however you want. You can have the stops, you can have the OCOs set up. Where one cancels the other, so I can have a stop loss and a limit order to sell. So let's say with this one right here, if I was to buy the ask, you'll see <clears throat> it's buying right here. It would buy at 11.40, and my stop loss would be 10 cents. The limit order to be to sell would be 40 cents. It would show up on the screen, um, and basically I can adjust my limit orders and stop losses up or down once the order's in the system. And again, watch our active trader ladder. You'll see how that works. But basically this take this is a little bit smaller version. Uh, it doesn't have like, if you see the active trader ladder, you'll see all the pricing and stuff over here. But the big buttons feature um, <clears throat> doesn't have that. It kind of is a smaller area. Again, it's all a matter of preference, whether you just like to have it set up this way or that you like to do active trader ladder. I do a lot of day trading, so I like the active trader ladder. Um, but if you're just kind of just doing swing trading or long-term trading, you might just like um, the big button set up the way you like. But again, once you have it customized the way you want, go up here to save grid as, and then you would just name it. <clears throat> You'll see I, I have one over here, um, some for big buttons right here, two cell big buttons, you'll see. So I have it customized over here. Like if I want a two chart set up with my, um, you know, MACD, RSI, and all the other stuff here, you'll see how I have mine set up over here. I just have mine buy at the ass, sell at the bid. Um, I adjust mine again through <clears throat> through um, my one cancels the other. So I'll put a one cancels the other in the system, and I'll up it, adjust it up or down based upon day trading, what I'm doing. I like seeing, person personally, I like seeing a visual of where my stop is and where my... Uh, limit order to sell would be, and then I could always cancel or, or adjust it up and down. And again, you could just watch our video on uh, Active Trader to see how I really go in depth with it. But this this is how you set up the big buttons. Again, it's all a matter of preference, uh, what style that you like to trade with. Uh, Fidel, or not Fidelity, TD Ameritrade gives you a ton of options. It's just finding the one that's most comfortable for you. So um, 
you know, if you are not a member yet of our Facebook trading community, we have a great group called the Bullish Bears. Make sure you come and join us. We are, are a group of traders from around the world that just love helping each other out. So uh, you can either click the link below or head over to Facebook and type in Bullish Bears and you'll find us on Facebook. Come and join us. We have so much fun on a daily basis. Uh, also, too, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date with our latest videos. And if 